As you probably know, the migrant caravan coming from Central America is now just a few short 700 miles from the United States border. <laughs> and the welcoming committee is on the way to meet them. Tonight, a show of force with migrant caravans at least 700 miles away. The first wave of U.S. troops arrives at the Texas border, creating barriers, putting up barbed wire and fencing, an effort to keep migrants out. There are reports this border deployment could cost upwards of $200 million by the end of the year. $200 million? For that money, you realize you could fly the entire caravan first class to Scandinavia. <laughs> Which, by the way, would be a lot more entertaining to watch. Yeah, because then you'd see what those other countries are really about. It would be like, America, the way you treat the needy is so heartless. Why can't you just, what, they're coming here? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, we'll find out the Swedish word for wall. Uh, <laughs> now, don't forget, don't forget, um, down on the Mexican border, America already has the Border Patrol, uh, the National Guard, and you've got Space Force. Don't forget that. So, you don't really need the army there. But Trump will find an excuse to use the troops for anything, you know? Next thing you know, he'll be like, this table is so wobbly, folks. Let's get a troop under that leg. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Great job. In other news, President Trump today officially implemented new sanctions on Iran. And this was to punish them for upholding their end of the Iran nuclear deal. And his announcement was something straight out of an HBO show. President Trump is facing backlash this morning for a controversial tweet promoting sanctions against Iran. The president posted this picture yesterday morning with the quote, sanctions are coming. The picture and the text are a knockoff of HBO's Game of Thrones and its slogan, winter is coming. Now, in response, HBO tweeted, how do you say trademark misuse in Dothraki? Is, uh, is anyone taking politics seriously anymore? <laughs> Rarely, the president of the United States is dropping Game of Thrones memes for harsh economic sanctions. Like, you know what? Screw it. He should just do that for all of his policies from now on. Just be like, better call wall. <laughs> and America's got tax cuts. <laughs> oh, and of course, his signature policy, orange hates the new black. <laughs> also... <laughs> also in international news, there's a new tallest man in the world. He's Indian, he's made of bronze, and he's worth a fortune. India has unveiled the world's tallest statue, twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. It honors freedom fighter Sardar Patel, who's credited with bringing the country together after India gained independence from Great Britain in 1947. The state government says it is 597 feet tall and costs $403 million. $400 million for a statue. You realize for that amount of money, you could fly the caravan back from Sweden first class <laughs> and then pay them to put up Bob wire to block themselves. <laughs> what are you doing, India? And here's the thing, I'm not saying India shouldn't build statues, but why not build one of, like, Gandhi, right? He's also famous, and he was much skinnier, okay? <laughs> yeah, they could have saved on materials. Same height, half the cost.